Hi and welcome to Birds with Bottle. We've got a thing about wine and we want you to have a thing about wine too. This week we're looking at wines to go with seafood and when I think of seafood I always think of Brittany and those assiettes de fruits de mer, the really pure, straight out of the sea, beautiful fish flavours. Yeah, really delicious. But then of course there's the coast of Spain as well with all those gambas and the almejas, which is prawns and clams to the likes of you and me. Yeah, um, and they've got more flavour because they're often cooked with sort of garlic, a bit of white wine to make them open, maybe some salt and pepper and... A bit of this. A bit of this, a bit of, that. Bit of olive oil, <laughs> lovely herbs. But let's not forget Cornwall, closer to home. Oh, absolutely. Actually, when I passed my MW, we, to celebrate, we went off to Port Isaac to get some crabs and lobsters, because oh, they are my favourite foods. Absolutely delicious. That's making me think of that joke. You know, the one about the lobster gets chucked out of a bar for giving it all this. <laughs> let's get on with the wine side. Yeah? <laughs> okay. So, our first wine is a Muscadet. It's called um, Fief Guerin. It's a Cote de Grogneur, 2009, and it's from Waitrose, and it's 6 .99. And it is absolutely the thing to have with the Assiette de Fruit de Mer, isn't it? Yeah, it's exactly the right thing. Yeah, yeah it's from France, uh, south of Brittany. It's the, the mouth of the Loire near Nantes, and um, it's the, the absolutely typical thing for seafood. There's a little salty tang on there, isn't there? There's a little bit of something on the nose, but not a lot. Mm. It's mm. fresh, clean, acidic, um, perfect for those seafoods. Just, um, but there is something. It's a surely wine, so it's been aged on its, sorry, dead yeast cells. So there is that sort of... Never sounds uh, good, does it? It doesn't sound good, no. Um, there's a... There's a a tastiness, there's just a bit of extra taste up, over and above a plain ordinary muscadet. Yeah, but it's not going to fight with those lobsters, is it? <laughs> not going to fight with your lobsters. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> so, our second wine is the Taste the Difference Almarino. It's from the northwest of Spain, from Galicia, uh, a region called the Rias Bachas, which my sister always thinks is hysterically funny. It's 2010 vintage and it's from Sainsbury's. Yeah, and the thing about Alvarinho is it can be quite expensive, but yeah. this at seven ninety nine, it's a bargain. Very, very good value. Quite a full creamy smell actually. Yeah, much richer than the previous wine on the nose, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, you're, you're much, expecting much some more yeah. deep flavour in there. Full flavour, tasty, mm. and this is why we thought this would go with. Um, it's sort of Spanish seafood, that's what we're talking. Stuff that's got a bit of garlic and oil and yummy tastes in it. Mmm. It's a bit floral, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And you're going that, that richness there on the palate yeah. much much more than so than in the previous one. So yeah. Yeah, yeah that's doing it. Fresh, that. fresh acidity. Yummy. Now I've travelled around this area, you know, on mm. holiday and stuff, and, and you know. This is the wine that's being served with all that lovely food, and it's a foodie paradise, it really is. Yeah. Especially for seafood. Absolutely. And um, boy, can we eat it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, can we? <laughs> I'll drink to that. Yeah. <laughs> right, for our third wine, we are going to taste a Picpoul de Pinet. It's called Domaine Cabrol, and it's from Majestic, and it's normally $7.99, but if you buy it on multi-buy then you get it at 6 99 a bottle and this is 2010 vintage so nice and young which is actually how you want your people yeah now it's from um the Languedoc so we've come across the Pyrenees to the bottom left hand corner of France do you mean the southwest <laughs> okay yes so it's from the southwest of France and as a result you're getting much more spicy richness yeah, in fact, you can just, you can get it on the nose, I just on the nose. It. Yeah, it's it's a lot going on in there. Yeah. Really lovely. Very interesting nose. And again, on the palate, you, yeah, you've got that richness. There's some nice mm. spicy notes. 
creeping in there. Yeah. Um, this is the sort of thing actually that would work well with crab, wouldn't it? Yeah. Something that's maybe you know a dressed crab. Yeah. Something a little bit more tasty. So yeah. with a sauce. Yeah. 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 It's absolutely. Actually, my friend Megan does some lovely little crustades with crab meat and coriander and lime and a tea bit of chili. Um, to go with drinks and sort of canapé thing. Oh yeah, yeah. and that chili would go really well with that spiciness that's yeah. going on in there. Yeah, isn't it? absolutely delicious. Yeah, and it's certainly it's certainly got enough flavour, hasn't it, for rich seafood? Anything you know, things with a sauce, definitely. Yeah, rich and saucy, like I like my men. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but, but but hopefully not crabby. No, <laughs> you know what I mean? No. <laughs> so our last wine is uh, Vigna Mara, it's a Rioja Reserva, Tesco finest, it's the 2006 vintage and it's 9.99. And you might be surprised that we're doing a red wine but we thought about paella and you know all those smoky flavours so you've got maybe prawns in there and some squid in there but all that chorizo mm. and some chicken so lots of flavours going on. I love the smell of American oak. That is quite that delicious, is so delicious, isn't it? Gorgeous. <laughs> so inviting and <laughs> delicious. Oh, yeah, really? it's, it's made by Baron Delay um, for Tesco. Now Baron Delay, I've really rated their wines for years. Absolutely loved them. Actually, since my trip to northern Spain, that's when it started. And this one for Tesco is it's just great. They, you need to slightly watch the Tesco Vigna Mara because um, this is the best, isn't it? Yeah, Rioja Reserva. Some of the others aren't quite so good, made by different producers, but this Rioja Reserva with the black label. That's the one to buy. Barangelay, yeah. lovely. This, actually, this will be good, I think, with a bouillabaisse. Yeah. A really rich sort yeah. of southern France fish soup. Yeah, and you might have some paprika and cayenne yeah. and stuff going on in there to mm. give it that smokiness. Yeah, um, and it, it just looks like a classy wine anyway. It's got that traditional label, which is always good. And I love yeah, it. I know, smoky, it's kind of rich. Um, so if this was a man, Mel, would, would he fit the bill a bit like the last one? Um, yes and no. Um, rich, mmm, delicious. Spanish, yeah. Uh, smoky, oh, don't think so. <laughs> no way. <laughs> It's so delicious. It is so beautiful. So while we sit here and moan about the wine... Mm. I'm moaning. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next week. See you next week.